I have a big old bucket of coffee and I think that means I'm ready to start. Hey guys, it's Riley and welcome to my channel on this lovely Thursday. Today I am here, it is 10 a.m. I, like I said, have this giant bucket of coffee. I have a dog flying at my feet, so I thought it would be a perfect time to make a video. Basically, I kind of wanted to talk about some FOMO that I am experiencing right now. If you don't know what FOMO is, it stands for Fear of Missing Out, and I am feeling it so hardcore right now. I got my GED in August of last year, which means I am officially done with high school, and like I'm out, and like I took a test, and I was done, and like that was it. Like there was no graduation, there was no anything special like that, I just took the test and was finished. And that seems like such a great and wonderful thing. And don't get me wrong, it was. It was the perfect thing for me. It was exactly what I needed. But right now, I'm feeling so much FOMO because everyone around me is graduating. This is the year I was supposed to graduate. I was supposed to be graduating generally next month. And I'm not because I'm already out and I'm not in school anymore. So I'm not the class of 2016 and it's a very very strange feeling because like everyone that I knew and grew up with is all graduating and I'm definitely feeling like I'm missing out on some stuff like I didn't go to prom never got a chance to go to prom though so that's a fun time everybody else is getting these graduation slash going away parties and I never got that. I think my graduation present was actually my grandma getting me an ink box tattoo and that was like it. But everybody's getting these parties and it's not like I'm jealous of the things that they're getting, I think I'm just jealous of the experience. Like that's never something I'm gonna know what it feels like. I'm never gonna know what it feels like to like actually graduate and go through a senior year. I'm never gonna know what it actually feels like to have a graduation party or a going away to college party. And because I didn't follow the traditional route of education, I feel like I'm missing out on a lot of these like milestone things that I have been taught to look forward to my entire life. And it feels kind of sucky to be honest because like everybody else is getting these awesome experiences and like the summer before your life begins and like I've been out of school for like freaking ages and it sucks. Granted getting out of school at the time I did was what I really needed to do but now I don't really have a way to make friends, I don't have a way to meet new people, like adulthood is not what they make it out to be. Like you need money to do everything and it's just kind of a mess. And I wish somebody had prepared me for it more because it was definitely not what I was expecting. I took a test and I was done and like that was it and I was out of school and I didn't have to go back. Like that was a roadblock that I got over and then I had no idea what to do with my life. I don't know. It's just a little bit difficult because everybody else is getting these cool things and like these graduation parties and I'm seeing all the prom pictures and all the pictures from graduation and all these like I'm going to college things and I'm just sitting here like Hey, I graduated when I was 16. I'm gonna be living in my parents' basement for the rest of my life, what's up with you? No, I'm kidding, I'm not gonna be living in my parents' basement, but like, it feels like that at this point because everybody's like moving out and being an adult and I can't. I don't know, that's some FOMO. Not feeling too good about it. Obviously, congratulations to everyone that's graduating. Like, that's an amazing accomplishment, and I couldn't even do it. Like, I could not stay in high school. Like, it was so rough. Like, it was so bad for me that I had to, like, drop out and get my GED because I couldn't handle staying in high school. So, all of you that actually made it through four years of traditional school, good on you, congratulations. And for those of you that didn't, also good on you, congratulations. You probably did what you needed to do. I just wish I had that kind of experience. I don't know, I'm jealous. I'm a jealous person. I don't like that about myself, yikes. I think that's all I have for this video today. So if you did enjoy it, make sure you give it a big thumbs up and leave a comment down below. What is something you are experiencing FOMO about right now? Like right this second, like go right in the comments, tell me. If you wanna keep up with me on a more day-to-day -day basis, you can follow me on all of my social media, which is at the Riley Kyle all platforms. I talk about this stuff a lot on Snapchat, so if you follow my Snapchat, 
chat, you'll like see this in real time and that's always fun. I also haven't plugged my blog enough, so if you want to go follow like my blog, like the blog that I write on, not like my Tumblr, but my actual blog, it's therileykyle.com. I have a link to it in the description if you want to check it out. I think I've posted about playlist live so far, I'm not sure. I need to get on that, I need to like work on that, but you should go check that out if you have some extra time, because that would be cool. And that's it, that's all I have for today. I love you guys, and I will see you on Tuesday. Bye. Thanks for watching. Make sure to hit subscribe if you want. Maybe not. Just click like.